Let me first say this before I, I get started. I want to tell Dr. LaForge, uh, uh, athletic director, Coach Kennison, head football coach, Todd Cooley. I'm not easily impressed when it comes to events because I've, I've done a lot of them, had to do a lot of them, been a part of a lot of them. I'm going to say this, this is first class. I've been to a lot of places. This is first class. And um, what a beautiful facility and everybody involved from when we walked up the steps to right now has been nothing but class. And it says, that says a lot about Delta State University and makes me very proud to be an alumnus of Delta State. And so congratulations on doing an incredible job. Next up, real quick, I, I got a phone call about, now it's going on about two years ago. Didn't know the number, pick it up, it's Coach Kennison. And he said, Coach, it's Mike Kennison. I, Coach, how you doing? Sort of caught me off guard. And uh, so we visited for a second. He said, well, the reason I'm calling, I wanted to invite you to be a part of the Delta State Hall of Fame. I'm like, okay. I said, I'm a pretty good player. Yeah, I'm a pretty good player, you know. <laughs> Uh, and I'm in the room of Micah Davis now, one of the all-time best here. And then um, where we've got one more great quarterback, Tyler. Tyler's here. And so, and I'm thinking, yep, you know, they led the conference in a lot of categories, passing, yards, TDs thrown. I led the conference in a couple of uh, categories too, most interceptions thrown. <laughs> and so, but I said, maybe, you know, I squeaked in somehow. But then he says, Coach, we want to honor you for being a good coach. And I was like, yeah, that makes maybe a little, little more sense. Uh, but uh, I still take pride in, in being a, a quarterback here. But I will say this, for, in all honesty aside, true story. For some of you that know me, I played defensive back my junior year. Then they moved me back to quarterback my senior year. And I'm the only player in Gulf South Conference history Okay, to have led the conference in interceptions on both sides of the ball. <laughs> uh, true story. And so, I don't know if that's good or bad. Could be good, could be bad. But nevertheless, had a great career here, great time. Love the people here. And uh, so many people meant a lot to me. President Wyatt, uh, one of my teachers, Butch Caston. I don't know if anybody sees him around me anymore. Just meant so much to me as a mentor. And so many of the faculty members here were outstanding. Mike Robbins is another guy that comes to mind. Just so many people invested their time into me. And so I'm just very thankful. When I got here, uh, I was given a roommate. And then shortly after that, I moved out of that room. And then I got my next roommate. And this is a, a guy that I sort of learned the ropes from in college quickly. And he sort of put me in my place quite often. And it was my former roommate, Johnny Burks, who's here tonight. He's the one that nominated me and paid everybody off to put me into the to <laughs> Hall of Fame. And so I really appreciate him, and I want to tell you thank you for coming. Uh, throughout that time, though, as a coach, you learn and develop your coaching philosophies through so many different avenues. And I had great head coaches here at Delta State. First was Red Parker. I came here with Red Parker, and then after that, Don Skelton and so many great assistant coaches that dived into me, Ray Bridges, uh, that dived into me and had so, such a huge impact on my coaching career and on my life. But my mentor through it all, and I'm trying to make sure I, and I thank everybody, but one of the most important members uh, are people to me that had more to do with my success in coaching because my whole career I, I wanted to be like this coach. And I learned so much from him and he meant so much to me and even gave me my coaching start is uh, my former uh, assistant coach when I was a player here, then he hired me to come back to be his offensive coordinator. We won a national championship together. And then throughout that time, he's been my mentor, but fellow inductee, uh, coach, head coach Steve Campbell right here. So I, if you wouldn't mind, uh, give Coach Campbell a round too. Johnny. Yeah. So as coaches, we learn from every stop. And I've been in some great stops with some great coaches. And I've learned from assistant coaches, head coaches, athletic directors, presidents. And I'm just very honored to have so many people that dived into my life. And then next is someone that's been by my side through this coaching journey is my wife, Tyler, back in the back. And as a coach, as a head coach, 
you put a lot of hours in and they're there to pick up the pieces and to raise the kids and move sell the houses and so on thank her for her her commitment and uh and her hard work too to help me get here also so like i said it's a it's a so, you know, for a coach, it's sort of like raising a child. It takes a village. And for me, raising me, it, it took a village. And I'm just very thankful to have so many people in my life that helped me get to where I've gotten to today. And I uh, couldn't have done it without each and every one of them. So I didn't want to forget anybody. I also, there's one former player, I'm glad I remembered it, is here, Randy Grierson played for us, for me and Coach Campbell. He was our center on our national championship team. Randy, where are you at? He's, there he is, back in the back. <laughs> National champion center right back there in the back. And so we've got so many great athletes and so many great coaches through all sports here to be proud of at Delta State University. <laughs> Never forget that. I'm very proud to, be a, to have come here, to have graduated from here, to came back and coached here. And uh, it's been a blessing, and I'm very thankful for this opportunity. Thank you so much. Have a great evening.